All right, guys. What's up? It's me, Evan here. Um, this is a this is um recorded after I made this video, so I'm editing the video currently. I'm just re um recording this so I can explain to you what's happening. Cause I had no microphone on the entire time. Um, so this is a stealth Ukrainian job. Uh, I'm not speedrunning this at all. I'm just you know trying to do it. Check out the place. I'll be the Cause why not? So right here, I try to pick lock this window, but then it gets really close about here. That scares me, so I back off, wait for him to calm down a little bit. I see that guard right there. So I try to go around this window so he doesn't catch me, pick lock it again. And then I'm going to take out this guard over here, to the right, in the hallway. Right about now. Pink, pink. Answer the pager. The number you've reached is not in service. Please check the number and dial again. So at this point, I'm, I'm good. I'm not panicking. I'm very calm. I know what I'm doing. And then I see these two security guards in a row, and I know damn well that's two pagers I have to waste in order to get over there. So what I have to do first is take out this guy to my left. Make sure that guy over there doesn't turn around. Answer the pager. Please check the number and dial again. Thank you. So at this point, I'm done with that pager. I run over here, and I know I have to kill him regardless, because he's just going to turn around either way. See? He detects me. I have to kill him. And then I walk over here, and I see the, the power switch for the metal detectors Please in the front door. The this is a good run. Yes, it definitely was a good run. So then I finish his pager, look at him for whatever fucking reason, then I turn off the power. At this point, I'm thinking in my mind, like, this is going to be a good run. I already have the metal detector down. I've already got half the guards dead. No problem. Get this guy. We Answer his pager. Technical issues. There is no cause for alarm. Please be at ease. I nodded because I understood that was the last warning and there was no guards. So at this point, I'm still calm. I'm still collected. Look at the security cameras. Make sure all the civilians are there. And then, once... I, so the guy to my left is, might see me, but my concealment is three, so he probably won't. And then these guys over here, take them down, make them hostages. The reason why I went around that room first is because um, the camera guy is in that room, and if I don't take off the camera guy, I, t I can't uh, get into the room. See that camera in that corner? Yeah, the one I just marked on accident? Yeah, that's bulletproof. So about now, I'm just collecting hostages, getting packages, getting everything set up. Nothing really special. Alright, now is the point where I start placing the drills and looking for packages. Drill one place, to make sure no one's looking. Drill two place, and now I look for packages. Check the two spots where there's usually packages, and this time the mantis is on the counter this time, for whatever reason. Looking around for more packages. Like I said, this is um pre or uh, not pre-recorded. This is recorded after I have made the video, so I already know what's about to happen. And I can tell you right now, shit's about to go down, um, pretty bad. Um, so I intend this. I intended to do this stealthily, which I did. I, I do. I do this part of the high stealthily, but then I kind of slip at the end and I freak out and I panic. So you'll see. Camera. Yeah, like I said, at this point I'm just monitoring cameras, monitoring civilians, getting open those safes to get the tiara. Nothing special. At this point, we're already 4 minutes and 32 seconds into the video, which I'm already, you know, halfway done with the heist. Slap the drills. I don't know, I'm making go faster, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I do a little nod. He's like, "Yeah, I'm looking for the TR. I know damn where we'll, I know damn well where it's at. I just don't know which one." So I drove them both of them. I 
just I'm just wandering around, making sure that no one comes in the room. Because I know there's going to be one civilian at some point that does pop in this room that I'm in currently. Because usually when I do this, I have three civilians. I've, if you couldn't tell, I've done this multiple times before. I've done that, like that civilian right there. That's the guy that's gonna be walking through that door. That's why I keep my eye on him, because I know he's gonna be going in there. And if I let him in there for too long, he's gonna alert the guards, which are currently dead. So he's just gonna scream, and nothing really is gonna happen. I'm waiting for my perk to enable. The one where I just, you know, sit still and. Um, I can see shit through walls, but it's not working, so I just decided to hop on the cameras, look down at his tiny little skull, and just sit there for a bit. And then the drill jams, not that one, the other one. Run across so it doesn't catch me. Repair this drill. Walk back into this room. Slap the drill for whatever reason. And then this is where he goes in that room, I'm pretty sure. No, it's not. Okay. It, he, he goes in that room at some point. Check the cameras. He's gone. <laughs> yeah, nod. Safes are almost done. Need to refix that. Yeah, so at this point, like I said, I'm just sitting here. Waiting for the drills to be opened, or the safes to be opened. Looking around for packages and random crap that I can salvage. So I have, I usually have a plan what I do every time I do this heist. I've already got the achievement, do it in 35 seconds, it wasn't too hard. Um, however, um, doing what I'm about to do, I don't recommend doing if you're if your concealment level is pretty high, or if you're pr oh, here comes this civilian right here. I don't recommend doing it if you're not used to stealth missions, because stealth missions are quite annoying. So what I'm about to do right here, right now, I don't recommend doing. I'm just do I've I experimented with this last night, and I found an easy way how to do this, which is just pin all the civilians down, or as much as I can. But here's where I fuck up. You see that guy outside that I'm putting down right now? There's another one out there that I did not see. And then this is where I start to panic, because it's like, okay, there's people outside that see me, I'm starting to screw up. And then I try to put this guy down halfway across the street, which does not work, which in the end fucks me. So I keep grabbing the jewels, I try to calm myself down, this is fine, everything is okay, I'm not going to get caught. Take as much jewelry as I can. And this is where I had to do something I really don't like to do. So that civilian gets on his phone, I have to react quick, so the only thing I can do for that angle is shoot him. I didn't really want to do that because that's a loss of money and just it's going to be more, you know, shit I have to deal with. This is where you can see me panic. Yes, it is definitely where you can see me panic because I'm missing half the, my shots with the wad of cash and I'm freaking out. Like, I'm moving as fast as I can. Like, this is where I press random buttons at some point. So, I'm grabbing as much as I can, or as much as I can hold. And this is where things go down. That civilian calls the phone, I can't reach them, and then the alarm goes off. So I run out, panic, 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 and then I just go back inside, grab one more bag before the cops can get here. So I grab, see how I miss, and I grab that one. So I'm freaking out. And then I go over here, throw that in, and I just escape. I don't even think about it. I missed three different bags, and it pissed me off. I have to escape first. <laughs> Here's where shit goes down. This is where I try to escape with um, Rust, Jimmy, and Wolf, which is fine. Um, I have a shitty pistol. I'm not running any armor. I have suppressed weapons. It's not looking too good for me. However, I do have medic packs, and the medic packs do come in clutch. And as much damage as this pistol doesn't fucking do, it actually helps out a lot, because I don't know why I threw that. So here is where I 
get very, very stressed out, because see how I'm spamming cops? That, that, it literally took one full clip to take out one cop. So at this point, I'm just gunning them down. No big deal. Well, at the time. And then I run out of ammo, and then I'm like, oh shit, I'm fucked, because all I have is this pistol. So I try to wander around and collect as much ammo as I can without getting my forehead smashed in. But, you know, that's kind of an issue. Hiding behind that one car constantly so I don't die. Grab these ammo bags, which give me one bullet, to keep in mind. And then I just gave up searching for ammo after that, so I just started using my pistol. Think about right here is when I get all my armor ticked off, yeah. And then I recharge it, no big deal. Then I think... Okay, the van's almost here, so it's almost done. Which is relieving me a little bit. And keep in mind, this is on overkill. If I get fucking shot twice, I die instantly. So I'm trying my best not to get shot. That's why I'm hiding behind that car. That smoke signal... Uh, gave, uh, freaked me out because I thought it was a cloaker, but it was definitely not a cloaker. I keep hearing a taser in the background, which is making me very anxious. This is where I freak the fuck out, and I'm like, okay, I'm just not going to shoot anyone. Grab that medikit. Medikit comes in clutch. So I gave Wolf the other bag because I didn't really feel like running back all the way back to the van. Shot again, all my armor's depleted, get shot again, my health is depleted, put down another med kit, or try to at least. There we go. Alright, the van's here, I just say fuck it and I start running, I take behind cover right behind this car so I don't get gunned down. Wait for the boys to move up. Try to signal Jimmy to come with me because I'm scared. I see that the point of no return is in the corner, so I just decide to fucking book it at this point. Which is a really good idea because there's no cops over here yet. So I run to the back of the van, throw that in there, 230 grand, go back to Wolf, then I scream at him to give me my bag. Run back to the van, and right about now, throw it in, and I'm done. Ah, I was so fucking relieved. Anyway, so that was that heist. It wasn't that good, but it was a good attempt. So, yeah. Um, and I get a shitty color. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.